settled the back line and they'd uh, been pretty miserly over the year, but uh, that, that'll be an important part of it. I think the West Coast play a very strong defensive game, so it'll be a matter of how well uh, we can cope with that, because they're, they're a pretty good side. Swartz has been in magnificent form. Each week he seems to get better and better. Do you think a player like him can keep going? Do you think that the finals atmosphere is something that he thrives on? Oh, there's no doubt about that. I, I think, but if, if you had watched him closely all year, he's been pretty good all year, and e even in his days when he's been you know, down a little bit, he's still contributed pretty well. He really just gives everything when he goes for the footy. It's pretty hard to hold. If you were to lose this weekend against the West Coast Eagles, would you still judge the year as being a success? It would be right to say at the start of the year, we, we within our own little group, believed that we were good enough and we were certainly aiming to be uh, able to play off and, and win a grand final. And I know that seems a pretty um, you know, cheap thing to say now, but we genuinely did feel that. Um, so we'll be disappointed if we don't get there. Melbourne, of course, copped a couple of injuries on the weekend. Swartz right at the end of the game, but he trained tonight. He did leave the track a little bit early, but he's expected to play. Sean Charles did a little bit of training in the centre, but it was only very light. But the medical staff believe that he'll be OK too on the weekend. So it's back to you in the studio, Sandy.